Hi everyone! In my last video, we explored a little bit of the movie Inside Out through the eyes of a rat-based LLM Dreamlet chatbot. What's exactly the power behind a chatbot? So in this video, we'll be diving into the data science techniques for the chatbot development. Let's get started! The movie script is our primary data, and it's all text. However, text data is often tricky to handle because the context is unstructured. We will approach this project combining both traditional methods such as Pivus for Dankboard analysis, TextBlot for sentiment measurements, and newer methods such as Neo4j, LangChain, and GPT API. We need to load the file first with LangChain's PyPDF loader. With this library, it's so much easier to read the file as we don't need to go to the text line by line. Then we need to do text reprocessing. Let's understand the page content attribute from the LangChain library. When we load a PDF file, it's transformed into a document data type. This contains the raw text, the file source, and the page location. Essentially, the line of code extracts the raw text from this document. We then combine smaller text chunks into a larger one because our goal is to split it by scene later on. We use regex, aka regular expression, to identify the scene title patterns. After splitting, we then use the join elements function to combine the scene title and the text together. Next, we'll explore character interactions in the movie. By using text block, we'll assign scores to measure the sentiments of their interactions. The interaction data gives an overview of the entire movie. It shows how often they talk to each other and the overall emotional tone of their conversation. On the other hand, interaction of all scenes lets us zoom in on interactions for specific scenes. We'll incorporate this into our Streamlit app later on. I've just walked you through an overview of the network visualization process, which involves a big chunk of code. You can simply run the code available on my GitHub repository. And there we go! We now have a network visualization showing the interactions among the five characters within the movie. You'll notice Joy generally displays more positive relationships, indicated by the greener edges. On the other hand, Anger often has intense interactions with both disgust and fear throughout the film. The thicker the edge, the more frequent their interactions are. Before we start with the scene-by-scene -scene visuals, Make sure the images of each character are in the same directory where you're running your code. Simply run the code from a GitHub repository. And voila! We now have all our network visuals from the movie. But that's not enough. With a lot of LLM applications out there, our sentiment and network analysis can go into deeper layers. We'll be using Neo4j's vector search, supported by LangChain. Neo4j's vector search transforms the unstructured text of the movie script into structured data, making it efficient to recognize patterns in character interactions. And LangChain leverages this by enhancing the semantic search capabilities of Neo4j. Let's first set up our database. Go to Neo4j ORDB and start a new instance. Once you have that in place, you'll find the URL, username, and password. You'll be using that information to connect to the CloudDB remotely. Next, we're going to prepare our data for the vector search. We've previously split the movie script into small chunks. But for our chatbot to understand the context better, we need these text pieces to be larger. That's why the step parameter in the join elements function increases from 2 to 10, which means we'll merge every 10 small chunks into a big one. We're turning these chunks into vectors next and storing them in the Neo4j graph. A big shout out to Tomas. I referenced the code from his Medium articles. His writings on LLM and graph analytics really inspired this project. I've linked his articles below. Do check them out. Jumping back to our code, let's test some prompts to see how the LLM performs. I asked what improves the relationship between joy and sadness. The green text shows what information the LLM is pulling from. The answer to me is pretty nuanced. What do you think? By the way, I tested feeding the LLM smaller chunks with a higher chunk count, but it didn't do as well. This is because smaller chunks are great for detailed insights but can lose the overall context. Now that we have everything ready, it's time to put it all on the Streamlit shelf. Coding with Streamlit is relatively straightforward. Even without a background in software or app design like me, you'll still be able to power through. I'll talk about some common challenges building the app in another video. 
And that wraps up our project. Congratulations! I hope you enjoy building the rack-based LLM app as much as I did. I learned so much more about the movie with the help of our AI chatbot. And I also get to apply so many data science skills in this project. Let me know your thoughts. Until next time.